Hello everybody, it's a writer here and welcome to today's redstone tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to build a color combination lock for the bedrock edition of Minecraft. This is a three wide tileable design so it can be go, go on for as long as you want. I just made a simple one in the colors of the rainbow here as a demonstration. So just red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, magenta, as those are the colors of the rainbow that we could get in Minecraft. You can see with these colors up, uh, our door over there is open and we are taking a simple redstone output from there. As you can see, this design is super duper compact and it, it's a little bit on the expensive side, but it does the job pretty dang well. So if we go ahead, head in here again, you could see that if we were to change this, you would see that cycle over all the way to magenta and that door is now closed. So these all need to be in the correct color for this to open. And uh, so yeah, essentially what this is, is each one takes up three tiles wide. So you could stack this as close as packed as you would like. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to build a module and then how to stack a module next to the other one and then how to take an output from this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. This is just a quick disclaimer. I currently have a cold and my voice starts to die a little bit towards the middle to the end of this video. So please bear with me. All right, and for this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is in the description, you will find a list of parts that you will need for one module. So if you plan on building four modules, go ahead and take that parts list and multiply the number of parts you need by four, and you will get how many parts you need for this tutorial. So uh, how this works is each module is about three wide and will have seven different possible combinations. So if you have two modules, that's 49 combinations. If you have three modules, that's 343 different combinations. If you have four modules, that's 2,401 combinations. So you can see how this is a super duper secure lock. So let's go ahead and get started with building it. For this, you are going to need all of your redstone components and solid blocks. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. So with your solid blocks, go ahead and make a small little elf shape like this just three blocks with redstone dust right there. On one side, go ahead and have two observers looking into that redstone dust with blocks on their little butts. Go ahead and place a block there with an observer looking in there, and that is perfect. Place a lever on top of that observer's face, and go ahead and place two blocks right here with two repeaters set to four ticks each coming out of them. Cover up those two repeaters with solid blocks, and go ahead and place two solid blocks right there and two pistons right here. So if you go ahead and flip this lever, you will see those pistons will fire just like that. And then on this piston, you want to place in a redstone torch. Go ahead and place a block on top of that redstone torch and grab your sticky piston and place it right there and then delete this block. All right, so we have the first set or the first little portion of our little cycling module set up. So now what you're going to want to do is go ahead, grab your solid blocks, go ahead, build up a little bit, place a observer facing in so its face is in right there. Go ahead and place a solid block on its butt, redstone dust right there, piston facing out, another piston facing out right there. Connect that up right there with another solid block with dust right there. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and build out and up just like this. Place an observer with his butt facing into that block. Delete those two blocks, uh, piston facing down there, piston facing down there. Two redstone dust on top of each of those pistons, perfect. And then what you're going to do again is build down by three blocks. Go ahead and go out a cup, out by a block. Place an observer there with his uh, butt facing into the block that we just placed, just like that. Keep that block there. Uh, delete these blocks and then go down by a block, place two pistons facing inwards, go down by two blocks from here, up by a block, and place in two redstone dust. And there we go, we have our piston feed tape perfectly set up. So if we go ahead and just place ourselves in like a solid block there, you can see that it will indeed get moved up, place in another one. There we go again. And overall, you will be able to fit seven blocks in here. So let's go ahead and actually do that right now. If I will stop breaking my pistons, that is. So let's go ahead and I will be just using the rainbow again. 
because I love the rainbow. It is very pretty and aesthetically pleasing. So this will be able to fit in seven colors. So what you want to do is you want to place your colors in on this piston feed tape, the one that has all the observers in it and the sticky piston. So I'll just go ahead and do red, orange, yellow, green, uh, blue, light blue, actually blue, purple, uh, magenta, just like that. It should look like that. And you will notice that this block will now pop out and that is ideal. This is going to be the block that will show you what's currently active. So if we go ahead and flick that, you will see it will cycle and red is now up. If we click that again, it will cycle. It will now be magenta up, purple, etc. So what you want to do from here is go ahead and fill in this area right here because we do not want that to be seen. I would also recommend building up a little bit of a floor just right here in a side wall. So it's kind of symmetrical, just like that. All right, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and grab any old solid block. I'm gonna be using some bricks and a redstone block. And you're gonna come over here to your module. And let's say I am going to make our first one, our first one green. So go ahead and place a solid or a redstone block next to the green block. And then all around here, you're going to place in your other solid block wherever there would be a concrete and where the sticky piston is extended on its head, go ahead and place in that solid block. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a solid block again. Go ahead and grab your redstone components all over again. Uh, right there, there. And what you're going to do now is from here, go ahead and build out two solid blocks. Redstone dust right there. Repeater set to one tick right there leading into a block. Go ahead and cover up that piece of redstone. Redstone torch there, block right here. Uh, redstone dust out and over, just like that. Redstone, redstone, block, block, redstone repeater. And this is a single module completed. It is pretty simple. And now I will go ahead and show you what you have to do to just build the modules right next to each other. So all you have to do to make multiple modules is literally just build this right over here. And this is built up perfectly so nothing will interfere with anything else. If you've built this correctly, these should be perfectly entirely tileable and there will be no issues with it. So like if we just build up this section as we have it directly over there, redstone, redstone, redstone and everything will work out just perfectly. And so go ahead and just literally copy this section over here. I will build one just real quick on camera. So that way we have it together. So let's go ahead and build up one, two, three, L-shape, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. Um, observers looking in to those redstone dust, just like this with blocks on their faces. We want a block there with an observer looking in there. Go ahead and grab yourself a lever, place it on there. Uh, I, <laughs> it has to be facing the same way. Uh, go ahead and build that up just like that. Uh, we want a repeater set to four ticks coming out of these blocks. So let's go ahead and grab those. Repeater set to four ticks, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Block back of there, two blocks there. Grab ourselves some pistons. Go ahead and build that stuff up. So piston, piston. All right, uh, observer facing in here. Just one of them. Solid block, two redstone, piston, piston. It gets really, really easy once you have the first one to just kind of duplicate it. So if we go back over here, observer facing up into this block, perfect. There, two pistons facing downwards, just like that redstone dust on top of them just like that and then if we go down and over here what we want is more pistons just like that delete that one because we do not need that and we want an observer here facing into a solid block we want this solid block right there go down and out by one two blocks there redstone dust redstone dust just like that and we practically have it built all we need is this redstone torch here and this sticky piston right above here, just like that. Take out that block, delete that block, 
and then go ahead and fill it back in. And it is that simple. So I'm going to go ahead, clear out my inventory. Let's go ahead and select this and this. We are going to make whatever comes in here the default blocks. Let's go ahead and just fill that in. So we go up like that. We need one block right there. We need a block right there and there and a block right there. Perfect. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves the rainbow red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, magenta, ideal. And fill that in right there. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, magenta. All right. So here is our combination. We have a combination of green and orange. So if you want to take a redstone output from this to see if you have the right combination, it is pretty dang simple. So all you have to do is come around back here and build this out and finish this up. That would be a little bit important. All you have to do is on this face, go ahead and place in a solid block. Grab yourself a redstone torch just like that. Place it right there and take an output from this redstone torch. So if this torch is on, that means the color combination is indeed correct. So you can see how this redstone line is indeed on. If we change either of these, this redstone line is going to turn off. But once we get back to our original green and orange, this redstone line will turn back on and that will mean we have successfully gotten the right color combination and that this thing is working. So in theory, this thing can be infinitely tileable so long as you stay in redstone simulation distance and don't unload it. I have no idea how this affects chunk unloading, but you can see it. we are back to having the right color combination. So I hope you enjoyed the, today's redstone tutorial. I am sorry about my voice. It is dying a little bit right now, but I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. But I will see you all in the next video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye!